So cabbages often cause problems of identification, uh, but they're relatively easy to do once you've got them all side by side. So these are the, the brassicas. So we've got Brassica oleracea on the right hand side, we've got Brassica napus in the middle, and we've got Brassica raper on the left. Okay, so uh, in evolutionary terms, the Brassica napus, the middle one here, uh, is a hybrid between the other two, which has then doubled its chromosomes. So not surprisingly, it's inherited characters from both parents, uh, and as a consequence, there's a slight overlap with both of them, but they are relatively easy to identify. So if we start the very distinctive one, cabbage. Uh, cabbages, uh, big robust things, perennials with huge waxy leaves and they're usually very thick and glaucous and most people will recognise a, a cabbage leaf. But then the inflorescences when you see them, uh, they tend to have a very very long axis elongating with the buds up at the top and then these relatively large pale yellow flowers uh, which are usually more than the, the individual petals, usually more than about 18 millimetres long up to 25, 26, something like that. And these, as you can probably see from here, uh, these are about uh, two centimetres long. Uh, uh, 20 millimetres. So the pale flowers, long inflorescence and then these big cabbagey leaves, very distinctive for, uh, well, for cabbage. But it's very variable around the country where it's escaped from gardens and it's not thought to be native. Uh, so it's naturalised on cliffs, roadsides, things like that. And then we have Brassica rape, the other parent. This is also a diploid, but it's got much, much smaller flowers. Uh, so this is usually an annual or sometimes a biennial uh, and some annual forms are selected for sort of quick turnover habitats like arable field margins where some of the big biennial plants can be sort of two meters tall sometimes growing on riverbanks and things so that again has got a lot of local genetic variation but a key character of these is that these petals are small and very very dark yellow and now it's easy to see dark yellow compared to pale yellow when you've got them side by side but it's not so easy when they're uh, out in the countryside. Another character that they have is that the buds are hidden in amongst the flowers. But you have to be occasionally careful with that character because as in this case, I don't know if this is visible, the new buds have actually aborted. So if, uh, if you'd looked at this one you'd see in all cases the flowers above the buds. Um, uh, because the new ones are not developing. So be very careful, make sure you've got a healthy inflorescence. And when you measure the petals on these, these are usually actually tiny. Uh, and they can be for anything from about six millimeters up to about 11 or 12, or really in the really big ones, they can be up to uh, tw 12 millimeters. So these are about nine or 10 millimeters long. Um, so small flowers, dense inflorescences with uh, flowers really cl clustered at the top and around over the over the buds. And then when it comes to the hybrid in the middle, Brassica napus, oilseed rape, this is so common everywhere on road verges and things throughout the country. So this one's lost its inflorescence, but these are intermediate in character um, and the flowers on them here are about, let's see if I can measure that clearly, about 16 millimetres long. So Brassica raper tends to have uh, petals from, from about 11 millimetres in the very small depauperate things up to 18 millimetres. Uh, and they're intermediate in colour between the Brassica raper and the Brassica oleracea. Uh, and there's this sort of gradation across uh, in terms of colour. This takes a long while to get used to seeing um, because it really, uh, you know, it's an eye of faith and uh, you have to get practised at it. So Brassica napus then, the oilseed rape, tends to have medium sized flowers with petals that long, uh, 11 to 18, but usually they're at least 14 uh, millimetres in the big flowers. So if you want to know which ones you've got, measure the petals straight out uh, and that'll give you a very quick indication of, of which group. There are then Brassica oleracea, pale flowers, long inflorescences, Brassica napus, dense inflorescences with uh, deep yellow flowers, small petals up to 11 millimetres, perhaps 12 millimetres long, and then all seed rape in the middle, uh, intermediate yellow flowers and petals, typically 14 to 18 millimetres.